Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. I am Mohan Murli yet again with another video. In this video, uh, I would want to talk about how to convert a model into a drawing view and how to get it for the fabricated. Okay. So we will stop at the level where we convert our model state into a drawing state. Okay. Now this uh, the reason I'm doing this video is a good friend of mine had commented in the previous videos uh, asking uh, to demonstrate this particular workflow about how to get in from a model work state to a drawing work state. So we'll look at that a quick example. This will be a very, very short video. Okay, so I have this particular support system with me, wherein I will simply create it into a drawing view. So if the model is open, it is very, very simple. If not, there's another particular workflow, which I will showcase later. Now, if from this particular opened assembly or model, the best way to go about creating a drawing view is right click on the name of the component or the assembly in the model browser. You have the option of create drawing view or the shortcut for which is Alt C. So click on that, choose the template you want. Right now I will choose the standard .dwg and I will say okay. But if you want to choose other templates also you are free to do wherein you have English, you can choose which one you want, metric also you have and any other old templates that you have used. So I will stick to standard .dwg and I will say okay. Now you will notice the model was automatically populated onto the drawing sheet. Okay, this is because the model is open in another tab. If it was not open, you will only have to select, you will have to browse to the particular component or the model that is there that you've already done. Select that and that model will be populated. Now, in this, the base view is directly populated. Like I said, let us set it to the, let us set it to the front view. Now, it directly starts placing projected views. Okay, all you have to do is click. This is the bottom view. This is the top view, this is the right view, this is the left view. Okay. Now, apart from placing these views, we also have this particular drawing view dialog box, which just gives us a lot of options. Okay. First main option that we need to look at when converting a model state into drawing state is the scaling factor. Okay. Right now it is 0 0.17 is to one inventor automatically calculates, which is the right scale. If you're willing to go ahead with that, you can, if not go ahead and change it to what you want. So I'll change it to probably 0.2. Let's keep it around now. Okay. What are the styles? Okay. This style means if you select the first one, it will be in hidden line. Okay. And next one, if you check, it will be hidden line removed. So you will only be able to see what are the visible lines that is there. Anything in the background will not be visible. And this will keep it in the shaded view which is the exact view right now, but right now I will keep it at hidden line view and I will say, okay. So you will notice it is more like a hand drawn sketch. It doesn't uh, give us the material properties. It doesn't show the material appearances at all. All it shows is the lines, any hidden lines is all that is visible. Now, uh, my, the practice that I would like to follow is keep all of my, you know, base and projected views in the sketched format that is the hidden line format and then what I also like to do is take the base view and place it in the isometric view okay so and this particular isometric view what I will do I will keep it in the shaded view okay very very simple I'll keep it in the shaded view and I'll say okay so this gives us both a realistic look and as an outlined look is what I would say okay what is the next thing to go about the next thing to do is we'll have to specify dimensions. How do you do specify dimension? You could do it manually or you can automate the process. Why would you do it manually when you have an automatic process? Yes or no? So what we will do is all we have to do is right click any of the views, select a particular view, right click, retrieve model annotations. Okay. Model annotations is nothing but your dimensions. Click on that. All you can do is select your parts. So you can select particular sources. So I'll select this part and this part and you will notice all the respective dimensions have been populated there. Now what you have to do, you will have to choose which dimension you would want to retain. Okay. Because this is quite messy, right? So what we will do, we will just uncheck whatever source we want 
and then let us start selecting all the dimensions that we need to showcase you will notice whatever is in blue will be retained the rest shall be removed and I'll say apply and we can cancel or continue the process yet again so you will notice all the dimensions that I've selected is has been populated so this is very very quick very very time efficient I would say now you can just go ahead and place them very well neatly you can place them neatly just arrange them so that it looks well organized okay just maybe bring this up here okay this looks good okay you can use the vertex points show any radius fillets anything of that and then this maybe you could keep it here that looks good so if you find too many views are you know uh, actually blocking your view all you can do right, just click on the cells click on the view and just hit delete very very simple it just said delete okay the same process you can also follow to the other views as well okay now notice one thing when I move the base view the linked views also move that shows that the it has been linked with the base so what I, what I mean by that is we noticed in the starting once we place the base view the projected views are automatically being placed upon clicking right so that shows a link between the base view you can delete the link or alignment using this break alignment tool we will get about all these tools a little later but this is the basic workflow of creating a model state into a drawing view okay so with this i will end this particular video please feel free to comment and please please do comment because only then i would know if what i intended is being communicated or not and also please do subscribe so that for more such videos you will be updated thank you have a good time learning in mentor professional thank you